Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. It's yours truly, Jen. I hope you're all doing well. I'm here at the Pema Dashanling Monastery in Kahare because today is Sonam Losar. So a very happy Sonam Losar to all of you. Just a short walking distance past Halanchok in Kahare is street number 20. A Buddhist monastery is located at the top of the steps on the side of the hill overlooking lakeside. So there's an event going up there you guys at the monastery. Uh, to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about Sonam Losar. I know a little bit about it. I'm looking forward to going up there and ask a few people what this is all about. So I just talked to her, she said they're starting a game just for some fun and to involve some people and it's called Hot Potatoes. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. I like your hat. Thank you. In the Tamang community, time is divided in a 12-year cycle and each year is represented by 12 birds and animals. These representations are called Lo. Lo meaning year and Sar meaning new. Very similar to the Chinese New Year, the Tamang Sonam Losar is celebrated by bidding farewell to the existing low season and welcoming a new one. Today marks the end of the year of the rat and the beginning of the year of the ox. Happy <laughs> First time. Normally before I always was an Indian this time. This is my first time. Okay. So I'm at the monastery now guys. There is a loud music and games going on downstairs. The monks are doing some puja inside the monastery. I'm going to go inside and do a quick puja and come outside. But before that, I just want to mention how beautiful everybody looks in their tamang costume. Uh, I have to mention especially the kids. Oh my god, they look so cute in their little tamang outfits. I have to make sure that Ryan gets his tamang costume for next year for sure. Before we go inside, we have to make sure we take off our shoes out here. So I've just asked the monk if I can film inside. He said yes, but I want to keep it very short and um, not be too loud, just out of respect. gotten our flower petal as a blessing from the Lama inside or at the door and uh, this is supposedly the holiest flower and it's called Coco Mendo. Coco Mendo. La Mendo he yeah, says. La Mendo. Mm. 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 Kun <laughs> <laughs> 
you can buy these ghee lamps and light them up in the name of your ancestors or your Kudevta or clan deity. We've bought about five of these ghee lamps and they are about 20 rupees each here. And we're gonna light them up in the names of our um, ancestors. Every year on the occasion of Sonam Losar, the Baidam Tamang Society organizes this wonderful event. They even provide free lunch for the people who come here. This event is open to mostly Tamangs, but also to the friends and family of Tamang people in and around Pokhara. for this vlog guys i decided to make this vlog because i come here and attend this event every year on sanam lasar uh, with dorje and our friends this monastery is open and free to public and it's open year round so come visit anytime this monastery is at a walkable distance from lakeside it takes about 20 25 minutes to walk here from lakeside it's surrounded by greenery so you can come here meditate bring your yoga mat do some yoga whatever you want to do uh, as long as you are uh, quiet and you respect the uh, rules here thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog i know it's a short vlog but i just wanted to share with you how we celebrate sonam losar if you like this vlog if you enjoyed this vlog please give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe please do check out my other informative vlogs on my channel i will see you very soon in the next one until then you take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye